Okay, guys, I'll prepare my camera. Sorry. Yes, now. Okay, guys, now we'll do uh, our lesson solve rate problems. Before I start, I have a hand here. Uh, Ahmed Najad. Ahmed, yes, Ahmed. Yes. Yes, Ahmed. Talk, what? I want to solve a problem. You want to? Solve a problem. Let's start the lesson, you mister. Remove your hand. Mohsen. Mister, we have exam. Yes. Exam on Sunday. On Sunday, yes. Next Sunday, inshallah. Okay? okay. Yeah. Remove your hand, Mohsen. And guys, if you have a questions, I know some, some of you sent some questions and ask me about some questions about chapter one. As I said, on a Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll do exercises about chapter one. Let's start with our lesson, solve rate problems. Lesson eight, guys. We will start with this example here, with this example here, and try to focus with me, please. Now, if you wanna buy, guys, um, a 12 box, a 12 box, and the price of a 12 box, let's say $24, means the shop, the shop told you, if you buy 12 box, the price is $24. Top. How about if you wanna buy, how you know the price, the price of, let's say 40 box. Again, huh, look here. If you buy 12 box, you pay $24. Top. If you wanna buy 40 box, how much you will pay guys? At this case guys, to know how much we will pay, Let's say if you want to buy a three box and each box, each box, the price of each box, let's say five dollars. What is the price of the three box together? Who can tell? Again, if the price of a three box, let's say, five, uh, if you want to buy a three box and the price of one box is five dollars, what's the price of the three box together, guys? Who can tell the price of the three books together? Abdul Rahman Adel. Mr. One book for the three dollar? La, uh, one, dollar. Book, one book, five dollars. If you want to buy three books, how much you will pay? Fifteen. Fifteen. One how you get the fifteen? Three multiply what? By three. Five. Three multiply five or five multiply three? Means to know how much, what's the price, guys? You need to know the price of one book. If you know the price of one book, you can know the price of the three books. But here, do we know the price of one book? No. I know the price of how many books? 12 books. To know the price of 40 books, guys, what we will do here, we need to know the price of one book. How do you know the price of one book? If you remember, we call it the unit rate. The unit rate. We put up the dollars, the money, and down the number of the box. Mr. Now, how we, yes, yeah, page uh, 60, 65, yeah, Mr. Khaliq book hala. Tarik li kitab, Abdul Rahman, khaliq ma'ai. Yeah. Now, how we, tell, how we know one book, guys? We need to divide on a 12. If you remember, we divide up and down with down. This is equal up 24 divided by 12, $2. And down 12 divided by 12, one book. Means the price of one book, how much? The price of one book is $2. Now I know the price of one book. I can know the price of 40 bucks. Who can tell me the price of 40 bucks if the price of one book is $2, guys? How we know the price of 40 bucks? Yes, Adnan. Mister, I wanted to say something at first. I'm asking a question here. Do you answer? Can you answer me? Yes. Yeah. If the price of one book is two dollars, what's the price of forty books? Two times zero zero. Two times four eight eighty. Eighty. So we multiply the price of one book by forty books. Two times forty, which is eighty. Dollars. So what I did here, guys, I found I found the price of one book. Then I multiply by the number of the books so I can get the total money. I hope you understand this example. This is introduction about our lesson there. 
We use this idea in our examples. Yes, Adnan, you can talk. Adnan. Oh, no, I forgot only to put my hand down. Right, yeah. Now let's go, to, guys, to example one, page 66 together. Yeah. Example one, page 66. Yalla, Ashuf. Who can read for me? Example one, page 66. And guys, please, please, guys, focus with me here. Focus very well. Yal. Yes, read. Yalla, ma'ai, inta li rafa idak. Mean hada. Adnan? Yalla, read. Okay. A warehouse sells 15 ounces, ounce cans of tomato sauce. Hello, continue. Okay. By the case, each case contains six cans and sells for a price of $9.96. Wait. In the warehouse, guys, if we have six cans, like cans of Pepsi, 7-Up, Mountain, whatever, what's the price, Adnan? $9.96, right? Yes. Before we start, guys, read again. We have 15 ounces. See it, guys? See this 15 ounce? Yes. We have a name. This is name, guys. This is not a value, okay? It's the name of the product, okay? This is not a value, Halas. Now, in, a, in the warehouse grocery, the question said, the six cans can be sold by $9.96, okay? This is where, in the warehouse store. Continue, yeah, mister. Okay. At a local grocery store, three 15 ounces, how many? Three. Three. Three from the 15 ounces means the three cans can sold by how much? Can sold by $5.76. $5.76 what cents? Okay. Now we have how 67. many stores we have, guys? I said 67. 67, sorry. Oh, how many stores we have here, guys? We have, we have two stores. The first store, we call it warehouse. They sell the six cans in $9.96. And the grocery house, they sell the three cans in $5.67. This is what we have in the two stores. Now, I will continue. Continue, Adnan, Marash. Okay. A creator needs to buy six, 36 cans. Hello. Someone, someone, creator, whatever its name, someone want to buy how many cans, guys? 36 cans. Again, we have two stores here, and someone want to buy how many cans? 36, 36 cans. Continue. Continue. Okay. All right. How much will caterer save by buying 36 cans from the warehouse instead of from the grocery store. Hello. Now this man, guys, this man here, he wanna buy this these 36 cans, and he is wondering, he is wondering, if he buy from warehouse or from the grocery, how much he will save? How much he will save, guys? I will go here a little bit, then I'll go to my example. Now, if you wanna buy a bicycle, guys, a bicycle, and you have two stores, the first store sells the bicycle with $150. The second store sells the bicycle with $100. From where you need to buy, guys? From this one, because, because this one is the smaller price. How much you will save? Who can tell me, guys, how much you will save? You will save $50. How you get the 50? We subtract. We subtract $50, right? So if we buy the bicycle from the second store here, we will save $50. We'll do the same idea here. We'll do the same idea here. How much Carter, thank you, Adnan, how much Carter, guys, will save if he buy from the warehouse and he don't buy from the grocery? First, let's know 
what is the price of the 36 cans here and what is the price of the 36 cans in the grocery to know the price of the 36 cans in the warehouse store we need to find the unit price then multiply and for the grocery we need to find the unit price then multiply to know the total money for the 36 cans so here i will make two divisions the first one for the warehouse store and the second one for the grocery store okay now in the warehouse store guys we need to know the value of one can the price of one can how we know the price of one can guys who can tell me how we know the price of one can in the warehouse who can tell yusuf salman Yusuf Salman. Okay. Yusuf Hanun. Yes. Yes, Yusuf. How we know the price of one can in the warehouse here? Are you with me, mister? Yes. I'm asking you, you need to answer me now. How we know the price of one can in this rate? Multiply. Multiply. Mister, do you understand the unit rate? No. Focus, Habibi, focus. Khadnaha the Drus al Madi, when can? Focus, Allah is Sadak. Yalla, else, guys. Yes. Only yesterday. Yes. Oh God. Tad, you need, you need, we need to meet, mister. We need to meet. Yalla. Tad, Faris, no. Focus with me, um, uh, Yusuf. Faris. Yes. How we know the price of one can in the warehouse story, mister? What we need to do? Uh, divide. ماشي ديفايد ان وات يا مستر جاي زهر يحكي لي معلش يا فارس وير لا حد يحكي لي ديفايد ملتيبلاي ملتيبلاي وذ وات ديفايد وذ وات تيل مي ذا نمبرز ملتيبلاي وذ ركز حبيبي ركز هاو يو نو ذا برايس اوف ون كان ان ذيس ريت تل يو سيد ديفايد اي ديفايد باي وات 6 Divide by six up and down. Thank you. Yeah, nine point ninety six divided by six over six divided by six. This is equal. Six down will be one ish. Can can. Let's see the price up now. I will use my calculator to save time and divide here quickly. I will divide nine point ninety six divided by six. The answer will be 1.66 watt dollars. Means the price of one can, guys, the price of one can in the warehouse is how much? 1.66 dollars. This is the price of one can. Faris, can you tell me how we know the price of the 36 cans in this store? Uh, yes. How? Multiply what with what? Multiply one. 1.66, you mean the number, the price of one can by? Uh, how many cans we need to buy? Yabni, how many cans we want to buy? How many cans? 36. 36. So to find the price of the 36 cans, we multiply with 1.66. So here, 1.66 multiply 36 is, let me multiply it first here, 1.66 multiply 36 is 
59 decimal 76 dollars so what we did here guys until now this man want to buy 36 cans in this house guys in this store the six cans the price of them 9.96 i turned them to unit rate to unit price then i know the price of the 36 cans by multiplying the price of one can with 36 the answer is how much 759 decimal 76 cents for the 36 cans where in the warehouse i will do the same steps for the grocery store i will turn them to unit price then i will know the right the price of the 36 so here 5.67 over 3 up and down divided by 3 then will be one can down and up let's divide this number with 3 okay i will divide 5.67 divided by 3 is 1.89 dollars now the price of one can the price of one can in the grocery store is 1.89 dollars to know the price of the 36 what we need to do guys who can tell me in the grocery store we are now yazid al aqad uh, multiply multiply it by 36 Wh what we multiply by 36 1.89 aywa 1.89 Multiply by 36, the price will be 1.89 multiplied by 36 is 68 decimal zero four dollar. Look here, guys. What I did until now, we have two stores, warehouse store and the grocery store. The warehouse sell the six cans by 9.96 dollars the grocery store sells the three cans by 5.67 dollars from where i get these two rates guys from the question now someone wanna buy 36 cans and the question asks us how much he will save if he buy from the warehouse and he did not buy from the grocery like what we did for the bicycle there now to know that guys i need to know the price of the 36 cans in each store so here I turn the house, the, the warehouse rate, I turn it to unit rate, then multiply. Here I turn the rate of the grocery to unit rate, then multiply. Now the price of the 36 cans in the warehouse store is how much? 59 decimal 76. The price of the 36 cans in the grocery store is 68 decimal 04 cent. Now what I want to know is how much he will save. Can he offer? Who can tell me what we need to do to know how much he will save, guys? What he need to do or what we need to know to do to know how much he, he, he will save? Hamad Kamel. Yes, sir. Hamad Kamel, what we will do to know how much he will save? Uh, hey, well. Thank you so much. We will subtract the two prices to know the difference between them. So 68 decimal 04 minus 59 decimal 76. The answer will be, let me subtract them quickly. 68 decimal 04 minus minus okay it will be eight decimal 28 dollars eight decimal 28 dollars so how much you will save guys so this man he will go to the warehouse because if he buy from the warehouse why he will go to the warehouse because the price of the warehouse 59 decimal 76 and here 68 this is lower price so he will buy from the warehouse and he will save how much? Eight decimal twenty-eight dollars. This is example one, page sixty-six. And I want you guys before we remove your hands, all of you, please. All of you guys, remove your hands. Sora, sora, sora. I have five students. If you don't have questions, remove your hands. 
طيب if you have a question about example one put your hand if you have a question about example one put your hand يلا شكري أحمد Teacher, I didn't understand very well. Read the question. Okay. A warehouse says 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce by the case. Each case contains six cans and sells for a price of nine to ninety-six dollars. Wait. At wait. In the warehouse, look at the board now. In the warehouse, what's the price of the six cans? 9.96, right? Yeah. So you understand this rate from where we get it? Yeah. Continue. At a local grocery store, the three, the three, the three 15 ounce cans of the same brand of tomato sauce are on sale for five. Point sixty-seven dollars. Wait. For the grocery, Mister, the price of the three cans, how much? Five point sixty-seven dollar. Got it? Yeah. So we have a rate for the warehouse and the rate for what? The grocery. Grocery. Sure. Got the two rates from where we get the two rates? Yeah. Continue. A caterer needs to buy thirty-six cans. Hello. Someone, he want to buy how much? How many cans? 36. Continue. 36 cans. Continue. How much will caterer save by buying 36 cans from the warehouse instead of from the grocery store? So, the question wants us to know if this man, he will buy 36 cans, how much he will save if he will buy from the warehouse and does not buy from the grocery house. Get the question? Yeah. Now, what we will do, I need to know the price of the 36 cans in each store, Mishik. Yeah. How we know the price of the 36 cans for the first store, warehouse? For the one can, yeah? Yep. We turn it to unit price, Mishik. Yeah. One can. After we know the one can here, then we multiply with 36. Check. Yeah. Stop. In the grocery, I'll do the same steps. Mm. I'll turn we it to one can, then multiply. Check. Yeah. Now, after we know the price of the 36 in both stores, I subtract them to know how much he will save. Got it? Yeah. So how much he will save? $8.28 dollars. Do you understand it now? Yeah. Good. Remove your hand, Shukri. Okay. Others, guys. Good. But let's go to check under this example. We have check, guys. Under this example, we have check. See the check? Let's do it. Yeah, together. Who can read? Abdullah, yalla Abdullah. Abdullah. Yes, mister. Yalla, we have check under this example. See it? Yes. Yalla, read it. Merenda. Yalla, Pepsi, mathalan. Merenda typed 325 words in five minutes. Wait. 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 Miranda, okay. Yes. Five, How many words in five minutes? 325. Hello. Words. 305 words in, in five, five minutes. Look, wait, Habibi, wait. Don't talk. How I make my rate, guys? Down, I put the minutes. Up, I put the words. Continue. Wait. Continue. In five minutes. Why? Just, just be type. Joseph. Joseph type two hundred ninety-five words in in five minutes. Two hundred ninety-five words in how many minutes? 
Five minutes. Five minutes. So again, Miranda type 325 words in five minutes. And Joseph type 295 words in five minutes. Continue. At this rate, rats, how many more words can Miranda type in nine minutes, John, than jo Joseph? Hello. Now they will make like a competition between them. In nine minutes, how many more Miranda will type than Joseph? I need to know. In nine minutes, Miranda, how many minutes she can type? And in nine minutes, Joseph, how many minutes he can type? Who can tell me in nine minutes how we know Miranda how many words she can type? We make 325 over five, over five minutes. Divide five. I, well, we turn to one minute. We turn the five minutes to one minute. Then we multiply with what? Nine minutes. With nine. Well, let's talk about Miranda first, then about Joseph. Yell. Miranda, three, two, five over five. Both divide by what? Mm -hmm. By five. This is equal down one minute. One minute. And up, let's make division. Three to five divided by five, guys. Make long division. Three to five divided by five is 65 words. 65 words. So, in one minute, Miranda can type how many words, guys? 65. 65 words. Stop. Let's see, Joseph, in one minute, how many? Joseph, 200. We divide on what, Abdullah, up and down? Five. Yeah, 295 over five, both divided by five. Down will be one minute. And up, let's make the division. 295 divided by five is 59 words. 59 words. Five. What I know now, I know how many words in one minute Miranda can type, and I know how many words in one minute Joseph can type. But in nine minutes for both, what I need to do? Who can tell me? Six, I... La, la, خلاص, Abdullah, else. Okay. Ahmed Najat. Yes. Well, how we know in nine minutes for both boys here or whatever? How many words in nine minutes for Miranda? What I need to do? Multiply. Multiply what with what, you mister? Multiply, multiply with 59. With... No, no, 65 multiply 9. Yeah, 65 words in nine minutes. 65 multiply 9 equals... Now, 65 multiply 9, let me check. Here, 65 multiply by 9 is 585 words. 585 words. But for Joseph, I'll do the same. I'll multiply also, like this, Miranda. I will multiply 9 by what? By 59 words. So, 59 words in 9 minutes. How much? 59 in 9 minutes is 531 words. Stop. What's the question wants? Until now, what I know, guys, I know how much Miranda can type in one minute, 65, and in nine minutes, 585. And Joseph also, in one minute, 59, in nine minutes, 531 words. What the question wants? The question asks us to know how many more how many more Miranda can type more than Joseph in nine minutes? What I need to do, guys, who can tell me? We will make, we'll, we'll make 58. Mr. Khalas, Abdullah, Haket, Khalas, else. You are not the, the only student in the class. Okay? Okay, Khalas. Well, new students. Who can tell, guys, what we need to do? Mahmoud Alwan. Mahmoud. Mahmoud.
طيب أبي سليمان السرحان سليمان سير What we need to do, Mr. Yalla, tell me. Hello? Are you with me, ya habibi? Are you with me here? Oh my God. Rayyan Amjad, what do you need to do? Uh, we multiply, uh, we, uh, no, 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 we subtract uh, the two subtract. parts. We subtract, to know how many more Miranda than Joseph, we subtract 585 minus 531. So 585 minus 531 equals, we make subtraction, guys, and the answer will be... Aisha. Aisha. Four words. Close your mind, guys. If you have family there. Okay. So we have 54 words. Miranda can type more than Joseph in nine minutes. 54 words. Miranda can type in nine minutes more than Joseph. Now I want you to copy this question, guys, under the check. Surah. Now your homework for today, guys, will be the first two questions in the practice page only. Questions one and two in the practice page, which is page, let me check for you, page 71. So your homework, page 71, questions one and two only. Questions one and two only. Now copy the uh, example here, guys. The check under the check in your book, copy it, please. Remove your hands if you don't have a questions. Tamim. Yes, Mr. Mr. Yes, Tamim. I want to lower my hand because they wanted to answer. It's okay. It's okay. Khalas, thank you. Do you understand the board now? Yes. Okay, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Good. Recording? No, no. Wait, wait, Habibi. Adnan. Mr. Who am I to ask? I just finished my work. 71. Khalas, send it to the class. Send it. Send it to the class. Thank you. After 10 minutes, I just finished my work. Thank you. Khalas, thank you, Habibi. Thank you. Right, guys. Uh, Tamim, you can stop the recording. Guys, as we said, in the, uh, in the, in the